Zer is in the Winding Cove on the EDZ, and he is currently selling the Prospector, which is a heavy grenade launcher. And it's really good. I like it a lot, but I don't use it a lot, mostly because I just have other things that I use. But again, I've always said, even in this in these Zer videos, if you do not have an exotic, I highly suggest you get it just in case it becomes really good in the future. Like, better to have it and not need it than to have it and not have it, whatever. So, yeah. Wormhouse Crown is the help is the armor piece for the hunters. And if you don't have Wormhouse Crown, I highly suggest you pick this up. Uh, the stats are not that great, but even then, like the exotic itself just overlaps anything that the stats can give you. I mean, realistically, you're gonna want high mobility, high recovery, and high intellect. Me personally, I would much rather get high mobility, high resilience, and high recovery because the intellect, all you have to go, all you have to really do is hit it up to 60 and then that you're good. But dodging gives a small health and shield bump. Obviously when you dodge, you get a small bump to your health. I haven't seen the shield one, so I don't know about that. But let's say you're fighting someone and you're about to die, dodge, and you should be good. It, like I love this helmet. It's one of my favorite helmets. I'm not gonna pick this one up just because the stats that I have on me, my other one are just a lot better. So there's that. Let's go to the Titans, which is the Mark 44 stand asides. These are probably one of my favorite exotics for the Titans because of some of the shit you can do. So let's look at the exotic perk. Grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash equipped and charged. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. So not only do you get an overshield when you're sprinting with a shoulder charge, but you also get melee energy back when you use it. So it's really good. Not only is it really good for PvP, but it's also really good for PvE. I've used this to tank a bunch of stuff in PvE and I highly recommend it. It's like one of my favorite uh, exotics to use especially especially in pvp just a meme uh the stats unfortunately are pretty bad you never want high mobility on a titan i mean unless you're wanting to do something like uh like a certain build where you need your your jump to be a little bit higher i can see that but not on these you what you want to see is resilience recovery and anything but mobility to be quite honest so this one's kind of unfortunate but I would still tell you to pick it up because the exotic is just that good. So last but not least, Fellwinter's Helm. Arc Solar and Void Melee kills create a burst of energy that weakens nearby enemies. Finishers and kills against more powerful enemies increase the radius of the burst and the length of the weakening in effect. So this exotic I have not used in a while, mostly because I don't use my Warlock that much, but this exotic has been taken down a few times because it's broken the game. So that should tell you how good this exotic is. Again, I would recommend you to pick this up if you're a warlock, especially if you're a warlock. Um, but if you're someone who doesn't play warlock that much, I'm going to tell you, you can probably skip this if you want. But I have it just because you might never know. It might be really good. If you play all the classes, I would just tell you pick all of them up if you don't have it because you might never know something might be broken and you might want to use it and if you didn't pick it up then you won't have it so these stats are, are not bad either if you use a uh a recovery mod then the stats look pretty fire the intellect's pretty low but at the same time you can you can really stack another armor piece with intellect and just do that uh but that's pretty much it. I unfortunately already got the exotic engram. I tried to do it on, an, on a previous recording and my dumbass fucked that recording up. So I ended up getting a, what was it? I was a lucky raspberry. I ended up getting this piece of shit and it's annoying because I, I'm not particularly fond of lucky raspberry, but at the same time, these stats are pretty, pretty good. Uh, I always want high resilience and high recovery. But this is most most likely going to be a PVE exotic more, or yeah, PVE exotic more than a PVP one, just because I don't like I don't like the randomness of this for PVP, but for PVE, well, sure, whatever. So 
that's pretty much it let me know your thoughts in the comments below are you guys excited for some of these armor pieces and the prospector let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i thank you for coming up to this point and i'll see you guys later